Hey everybody, welcome to the top three things you may have missed while reading The Whipping Boy. In this episode, we'll look back at chapter five for words or phrases that may have been confusing or weird. If you don't have a copy of The Whipping Boy, you can find a link to it in the description below. Let's get started. Number one, common sparrows. In chapter five, Billy, one of the cutthroats who captured the boys, holds up a lantern to them to get a better look. Billy makes the comment, not much of a catch, two sparrows, meaning he thinks Jemmy and Prince Brat are just two regular boys. He compares them to sparrows, which are small, common birds that aren't worth much money if caught and sold. He is curious as to why they're dressed so fancy, though. Later in the chapter, Cutwater, the other cutthroat, finds the king's symbol on the boy's horse and realizes Prince Brat is telling the truth about being the prince. He yells out to Billy, They ain't just common sparrows because he knows now the boys aren't as worthless as common birds. Number two, enough lip for two sets of teeth. While Jimmy tries to keep quiet and not cause trouble with Billy and Cutwater, Prince Brat talks back to them, calls them names, and demands that they bow down to him. You might have heard someone say, don't give me any lip, or I don't want any more lip from you. What they mean is that they don't want you to talk back to them, or that you're talking too much. In the story, Prince Brat was definitely talking so much that Jimmy was afraid he would ruin their chances of being let go. The cutthroats also thought he was talking too much. Billy says the prince got enough lip for two sets of teeth. Lips would have to be pretty big to go with two sets of teeth. Billy is using this imagery to show just how big of a blabbermouth Prince Brat is. He not only talks too much, but he's rude too. Number three. Stir your legs. Before Cutwater finds the king's crest on the saddle, Billy is about to let the boys go free. He tells them, Stir your legs, walk, and don't let me catch you on our turf again. When he says, Stir your legs, he doesn't mean to swirl them around. He just wants the boys to use their legs to stand up and walk. Sometimes when we've been sitting or lying down for a long time, we might say our legs have fallen asleep. When we get up and feel the stinging or tingling sensation of our legs being asleep, we need to wake them up by slowly starting to move around. Another word for waking up is to stir. If your parents try to wake you up in the morning, but you won't get up, they might say, I couldn't get them to stir. Here, Billy wants them to wake their legs up and start using them to walk away. Were there any other parts of the chapter that sounded strange or confusing to you? If so, find an adult you know and ask them what they think the story means. Thanks, and see you next time!